Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne. And he still performs miracles and wonders each and every day. In the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time. And all the time God is good. So that's why he is so worthy. Hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Every last one of us should enter to his courts. With thanksgiving and praise. Not because you want something, not because you are in need of anything, because the love that you have for Jesus, the bond that you have with him, the relationship that you have with him, that's what it means by entering to his course with thanksgiving and praise. Just thanking him for who he is, thanking him for what he's done, thanking him for how, how far he done brought you, just thank, thanking him how glorified he is and how he can turn your situation around in the strip of a second. That's what praise is all about. See, anybody can praise and anybody can worship when everything is going good. That's the easy part. But can you do it when things are not going good? Can you do it when you're going through a difficult time? When you're going through hardship? When you're going through difficulties? When, when, when everything seems like it's going against you? When everybody else around you is getting blessed and you're not, getting, you're not receiving your blessing? Can you still think and praise and give? Are you still going to be in the same situation and Jesus, no matter what, I'm still right here. I'm still going to worship you. I'm still going to thank you. I'm still going to glorify you. I'm still going to seek after you. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to fast. I'm still going to read my Bible. And if you can do all that, my brothers and sisters, Jesus has his eyes on you. Because one thing you know for sure, that he can trust and count on you. Could Jesus really trust you? Some of y'all can tell me anything. But Jesus already know who you can really trust in. You can't fool him. You can't bamboozle him. He knows because he knows your heart. Is your heart lined up and right with Jesus today? And if it's not, I want to encourage you right now today, my sisters. I want to encourage you right now today, my brothers. Please get your heart right with Jesus. You got all the time right now today. And if you have not done it, I encourage you to do it right now today. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Father God, how you moved in this place. We thank you, Father God, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, because your word said we're two or more gathered in your name. Then you are in the midst while we are praying. So, Father God, we know that right now that you're in the midst in this prayer session right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we know that you are turning things around. Oh, Father God, we, we give you thank you, give you praise, we give you glory right now today, Father God, in your house right now, in your place right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today. It's going to keep us full today and keep us satisfied today. There's no place that I'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, just thank you and glorify you and magnify and glorify your holy name today, Father God. Oh, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment, Father God, that I know that you're going to show up and I know that you're going to show out. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today. Father God, let your words go out and should not return by board today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for who you are, Father God, and what you're about to do right now today, Father God, because we are expecting things to turn around, Father God. We are expecting, Father God, for you to show up and show out any time and any given moment, Father God, because your words are true and your promises are everlasting, Father God. Glory be to God. Oh, Father God, allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship right now today, Father God, 
in your place right now today, Father God. I believe and I declare today, God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone's ready to give their life over to you today, Father God. Someone is tired of running. Someone is tired of being in the dark, Father God. Someone know what, they want to know what the light is all about, Father God. And Father God, the angels are already rejoice in heaven right now today, Father God. And you will get all the thanks. And you will get all the praise and glory for it, Father God. Father God, this is your moment, Father God, and I know, Father God, that you about to touch somebody today, Father God. Oh God, I know that you about to do something amazing in your sermon and through your service today, Father God. Glory be to God. Oh, Father God, we just hold on you, Father God, because you are so awesome, you are so amazing, you are so faithful, Father God, that you never leave us nor forsake us, God, that you will never turn your back on us, God, that you got us all the way to the very end. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered, Father God. Have your way today, Father God, in your place. Oh, Heavenly Father God, Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to your house right now, right here in your sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel right now, your platform right now, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to fill us up more the Holy Spirit right now today because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to give us the peace right now today, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to open our eyes, let us see what we need to see right now today, Father God. Open our ears so we can hear whatever it is that we need to hear right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we are counting on you. We're depending on you. We're relying on you, Father God, for everything, Father God. You know exactly what we are going through, what we are facing right now today, Father God. And Heavenly Father God, we trust you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now. Right here in the sanctuary right now, right here on Jesus' YouTube channel, on his platform, right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now because you are comfortable right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to allow us the Holy Ghost fight through the sermon, through the service right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to reveal every, anything to us that is not that is not good, that is taking our peace, that is taking our joy from us, Father God. Holy Spirit, please remove it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, I just come before you right now today. We want to say this. Thank you, Father God. So thankful today. Grateful and honored, blessed to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, Father God. That's one body of Christ in your sanctuary right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise. We're available for service, that we're available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Wash us as white as snow right now today, Father God. Purify us through your blood right now today, Father God. Help us when we are weak at, Father God, because only you, Father God, can make us strong. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your only name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray, that's why I worship you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm hungry and I'm thirsty for you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I want more and I want more and I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know right now today that you can't thank him. That you can't thank him enough. There's some people out there right now today. They've been praying against you. Secretly, smiling your face, pretending that they really care about you and what's going on with you. You don't understand 
They have an agenda and they have a motive behind their sleeve. They pray every day that whatever it is that God has brought to you, that it fail. They have been praying over time just to see that it did not go on a ceiling on what God's will is. And there's some people right now today that's in your face that's smiling right now that you know secretly who they are. But it's a crying shame because it's always the people that we know who's against us. It's people that you were born and raised with. They're against you. You got family members. They're against you. You have children. They are against you. You have people in the church, in the choir. They are against you. Because they don't want to see you happy. Because they ain't happy. They know that you got something good right there. You don't know how bad deep in their heart they say, I wish it don't work out for them. I'm going to pray overtime. Let me bring, let me cause some confusion. Let me cause some chaos between them right now. And right now, that's all what's going on. Confusion, chaos, turmoil. They are jealous and envious of what you got. Some of you right now, you don't realize how you got it going on. And the first thing you say, well, I ain't got nothing. You have a spirit, my sister. You have a spirit, my brothers. And that's all what you have to have. You ain't got to have all of the, the extravagant things that you think a person is jealous of or envious of. They jealous and they envious is because the spirit, oh, help me this thing, Jesus, that's living inside of you. And they can't stand it. They're going to do every, anything to destroy. And they're working hard right now. They sent back and said, I got them now. We got them right now where we need them. And they arguing with each other. They fighting with each other. They can't stand each other right now today. I mean, the enemy is already has his ends already in it. The enemy is working with them and they working with the enemy. But my brother and sister, you got to be more stronger than that. You got to open your eye because the Bible says always be aware of the enemy's scheme because he's always scheming. He always at war. He always trying to destroy something that God has said, this is a blessing. If it wasn't a blessing, do you think they'd be working that hard to try to destroy and dismantle what God has given you? Look what's going on in front of you. It's right there plain in view. The enemy has came in. He has swooped down just like Superman and said, I'm going to tear this up. Who can I use to tear it up? Who can I get to tear it up? He has millions and agents right now today that's on their side. But they ain't going to tell you that. They ain't going to tell you, oh, we, we fuck y'all, and we want y'all to be happy, but deep down in their heart, no, they're not. Because they was, they would be going against you. They will be telling things. Look what they're doing. It's right there. Plain sight, plain view. Even Genesis 3 said the serpent is the most craftiest animal. That means that mean the serpent had to come in and see and bamboozle how he can slither his way back into someone's life. Because at the end of the day, he really don't want the person. He is trying to destroy what God, oh, help me that thing, Jesus. He's trying to destroy what God has brought to the table. The whole time, the whole time they've been gone. The whole time they've been absent. Now the whole time they want to sneak back in. You can't see what the, what the enemy is trying to do. If you weren't, if you weren't meant for God, you wouldn't, be having, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through right now. If it wasn't for a blessing that God said, this is what I've given you, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through right now today. Somebody know what I'm talking about right now today. It's right there in front of your face. But what you're doing, you're blaming each other. And that's what the enemy doing. Look at them. They, look, they mad at each other right now. They're against each other. They don't even know it's us who are against them. 
They don't even know it's us that's plotting against me. They don't even know it's us that's praying against their downfall. They don't even know it's us that's praying, hoping it don't work out so they can get a win. But they ain't telling you that, but they telling themselves that. They sitting back looking at me. Say, wow, yeah, we got them now. Y'all, it's working. But you got to know how to defeat the enemy yourself. The word of God said he gave us all authority, full authority, to trump over every scorpion and demon it is. So you got to use your words and your power and your faith to destroy what the enemy is trying to get, what the enemy is trying to do. Because right now, the enemy feel like they winning right now. And if you look at it, the enemy is really winning right now because y'all guys are arguing at each other. You fussing at each other. You fighting with each other. Not knowing that somebody is already in the midst of it. If God really wants y'all to be gone, don't you think he would have broke, broke the party up a long time ago? But look where you're still right there. You're still holding hands with each other. You're still trying to work it out with each other. You can't tell me that ain't God. Come on, somebody. That's God right there. That ain't you, my sister. That ain't you, my brother. That is God right there saying, what is y'all guys doing? You can't see what's going on. You can't see what the enemy is doing. You can't see. How can you be close to me and you can't even see what's going on right there in front of your face? Somebody's slipping in their word. Somebody's slipping in their prayer life. Somebody's slipping and seeking Jesus. You need to get back on track, my sisters. You need to get back on track, my brothers, because I'm going to tell you right now, something is definitely going down in the, in, in the demonic realm. And right now, the enemy sit back and say, we ain't got too much longer, y'all. It's going to be a victory. But you got to tell the devil, today, the day you are alive, you will not win against this. You have no right and you have no authority over what God has blessed me with. And you got to mean that. You got to put your foot down. All that energy that y'all going against each other for what? Ain't nobody winning. Both of y'all losing. Ain't nobody winning at all. He ain't winning. You ain't winning. Nobody winning. But the enemy sit back winning because they laugh and say, yeah, we got him right now. I'll tell you y'all, two more rounds of this, it's going to be over with. Don't even realize, God going to give you the strength to overcome it. But see, the enemy don't know that. The jealous people don't know that. The haters don't know that. The people that's envy towards y'all, they don't know that. Why you think God is still right there? Why you think God has not broken y'all up yet? Why you, think he ain't, why you think he ain't split up the party yet? Because at the end of the day, Jesus is the one that's in full control and he in full charge. Not you, not him, and show not the enemy. And show not the people that is against y'all. Because right now today, y'all guys have a lot of people that's against y'all right now today. They are secretly against y'all. They know deep down in their heart when y'all figure out who it is, they're going to be disappointed. Today is the day, my sister. Today is the day, my brother. Y'all got to disappoint the enemy. You got to disappoint every scheme what the enemy is doing and what he is calling and what he is trying to bring to y'all. You got to disappoint that. You got to put an end to it right now today. You got to say that enough is enough. I'm sick of it and I'm tired of it. No more. We're not going to deal with this mess no more and no longer. Amen? Amen. Let's get into this word. Can you please turn your Bible to Romans 8? And we're going to read verse 31. Romans 8, and we're going to read verse 31. And if you have your Bible, so let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against you? It don't matter what devil, what hater, what jealous person, what envy person. It does not matter who against you. As long as God is for you, and God wants this relationship to go on, to prevail for his glory, it don't matter what they're trying to do, it's never going to work. I don't know who this word's for today. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. But God wants you to know this right here. Stop wasting so much time and energy fussing and fighting at one another and start putting that energy towards the enemy right now. 
God wants y'all to know right now today, stop fussing and fighting, put and stop wasting so much energy at one another and get on y'all knees and start praying together. Get in y'all Bible and start reading together. That's how y'all gonna beat the enemy. That's how y'all gonna destroy the enemy. That's how y'all gonna tell the devil, get away from us. You have no right, you have no authority of us. It gonna take both of y'all to do it. Not one, it takes two to tango. He said, I'm for y'all. Why y'all think the situation is still here? I brought y'all together for a reason. I brought y'all together for a purpose. Y'all can't see what I can see. I designed for this to happen. Stop wasting so much time and energy and fight what I'm giving you. If you want something, you got to fight for it. Nothing in life is easy because if it was easy, everybody do it. If they want so they didn't see what God's about to do for y'all, do you think they'd be secretly hating on y'all and against y'all? No. They see what it is. They see both y'all happy. They see it. But the enemy has came in. Neither one of y'all complain, the other person, both y'all has opened up a crack. And that's all the enemy needs is a small crack. Both y'all open that small crack. And I seal that crack right now today. And you seal it with prayer. And you seal it with, with reading and trust, faith, and hope. You put all them together, the enemy going to crawl out of that, that crack they went in and try to go somewhere and say, we can't deal with this. It's too much power right here. It takes two to tango. And if you know God is talking to you, you know this word is for you, say, thank you, Jesus. I need to do that because that's me. I've been doing that. And if you like what you heard right now today and you receive it, go and hit Jesus' right button. Hit the subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working on everything got in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is witness.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him, always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happen. Continue to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hand and please do not let it go. Walk by faith and not by sight. Continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them, it doesn't matter if they've seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. Always do that. Choose faith over fear. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm seven minutes left to you. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.